Hi Shellfish Gardeners, my name is Niall Taylor and today I'm here to tell you about our different methods for growing clams and what gear options you have. Our first option is our traditional basic clam netting. It's six feet and it comes in uh, five foot increments. We have our commercial style clam net which is heavier duty and we have our grow bag which can be turned into a grow box for growing clams. Our first option is our basic clam netting which as I said is sold in five foot increments and are six feet wide. It is a much lighter weight netting than our other options. Um, it's great for first time clam farmers that want to give it a try and aren't sure if they want to invest a lot of money into it. Um, it will generally last five or six years before it will tear. Our next option is our commercial style clam net. This one has a sturdy rope border, is a much heavier duty plastic uh, filament and it has uh, built-in rings for sticking rebar in to attach it to the beach. This net is 10 feet by 15 feet and is great for someone that wants to do this longer term or has an established clam bed on their farm and want to protect the natural set. This net is the exact same style that we use on our farms but is made in a smaller size perfect for a shellfish garden. Our final option is using an oyster grow bag to turn into a clam grow box. If you want to do this method, make sure you get a grow bag that's open on both ends or an open-ended grow bag. You'll then cut it into a box using our method shown in our clam farming video, and it is great for small quantities of clams. If you're using our commercial style net or if your clam seed is smaller than the holes of the net and will easily pass through. At low tide, you can secure your net to the ground. And then once there's a few inches of water over the farm on the incoming tide, you can sprinkle the clam seed over your net and it will pass through and live in the ground and be protected by the net. If you're using the basic clam net and your clam seed does not pass through the net easily, what you'll wanna do is determine the area where you want to lay your net and then once there's a few inches of water over the bed, you'll sprinkle your clam seed and then secure your net on top of that. That way the, the, the clams will pass through and be in the ground and then the net will, will keep the predators out and can be secured at that point. Check out our other shellfish gardening video on manila clams for step-by-step -step instructions and more detail on the grow box method. Thanks for joining us.